Day Dogs is I'm a member of the dog care and welfare team. So I look after between 12 and 16 dogs in a block. Um, so I do their grooming, I do their health checks, I make sure that they visit the vet if needs be, that they get their boosters, all their, all their vaccinations that are needed. Um, so we take in the dogs when they come in from puppy walking. We make sure that they're, they adjust the kennels properly. We mix them with the right um, pack members. They get their trainers. Um, we do all the feeding and the grooming and the exercising. Um, originally I studied zoology in UCC. I always wanted to work with animals, I just wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and I volunteered in guide dogs because uh, I'm originally from Cork so I would volunteer here on the weekends and the evenings. And when I finished my degree course I travelled for a while and then I started working in English guide dogs. Um, and I trained there and then a the job happened to come up in the Irish Day Dogs where I was from, so they happily moved over here. At the moment I'm working in kennels, or we call it dog care and welfare. Um, so uh, we basically look after the dogs when they're down here and so in the mornings the, we feed the dogs at 8 and they've half an hour to have their food and to spend or go to the toilet. Um, at half past 8 then the early trainer, trainers come in and take the dogs, they bring them out for a couple of hours. So we um, clean all the kennels then after that. Um, they'll come back around 12 o'clock and we groom them. and. Uh, to sleep and spend again and then they go back out for training again in the evening. They're fed a second time in the PM at half three and then we do more cleaning if it needs to be in the kennels. And um, so then we go home at half four, normal day is eight to half four. Absolutely love dogs. I've been volunteering here for six years. I'm only after I'm only actually working here full time for the last three months. So I was volunteering here for the last six years, and a position came available. So I, I was up to that. I was working in offices and never liked it. Just kind of jumping from job to job. So a position came available, and I went for it and I got it. So I love it. I am the technical team lead for the operations department. I started working with Guide Dogs in 1990, uh, working on kennels. Um, we've had a long association with Guide Dogs. We started probably walking in the early 80s. And my family had a connection with, with the association uh, for a long time. Um, I, I always felt that working with animals was, was certainly a, a nice uh, work-life balance, but also I felt that people who've had the disadvantage of, of sight loss deserved every opportunity to level the playing field. So for me it was a, a good balance. Irish Guide Dogs was formed about 40 years ago. Originally, what we did in the 70s was fundraised to send our clients to the UK, to Exeter, to be trained with their guide dogs. Um, in the late 70s or the 80s, we trained to send two apprentices in the UK, and they were trained up as guide dog and building instructors. And the facility opened here in 1982. Um, from there, we started breeding our, our old pups and started a puppy walking program. Uh, and that program is still in existence today. We also, uh, in, in, in the early 90s, started long cane training. Uh, so that's white cane. Um, a lot of our clients, guide dog clients, will come through the long cane program first and then move on to a guide dog. We have a child mobility program. Next step, set programs for, for kids leaving uh, secondary school, going to college. Uh, we do daily living skills, independent living skills with the people. 
and our core business is guide dogs and assistance dogs for children with autism.